Well, greetings and welcome back to today's edition of Extraordinary Connection. My name is Pastor Devin and I serve as the pastor at Romeo United Methodist Church. And today I was curious. I was curious if any of you have any regular routines, any of those traditions that you follow. Maybe it's a morning schedule that you use to start your day the same way each day. A certain order or way you do things throughout your day. Maybe you have some of those family routines or the way things work in the house, the way the house runs, or traditions on how you celebrate certain things. Just last week was my son's birthday, and somewhere along the line it's become tradition that we, we have cinnamon rolls for breakfast on birthday mornings. It's one of those traditions that the kids just look forward to, mainly because they don't normally get that much sugar for breakfast, but it's still a tradition we have. But as I thought about it this week, we also have those traditions, we have those routines in the church as well, don't we? And don't get me wrong, I'm not suggesting that there isn't value and benefit of having some of those things that we know what to expect or that we look forward to. But I came across a joke this week that asked, how many members of a religious group does it take to accomplish a routine task? And the answer was, there's no way of knowing. It may only take one or two people to actually perform the task, but it will also take countless others to watch and make sure it is done to the proper standards and expectations, even if those standards and expectations have never been clearly stated before. And while I admit I, I had a chuckle at that, I'm just as guilty of it as anyone else. I'm guilty of it in my personal life, and I'm guilty of it within the church as well. I have my way of doing things. I have the way I expect that things will be done. And I have the way that I expect to see them executed. I want them done in just that way. Giving up control, letting others take charge. It's never been an easy thing for me. It's probably the reason that when I come across this particular selection of scripture, I sometimes wonder I wonder who I would be in this story. The scripture I'm talking about, it comes to us from Mark's gospel. It's chapter 7, verses 5 through 8. So the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, Why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? And he, Jesus, said to them, Isaiah prophesied rightly about you hypocrites. As it is written, this people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching human precepts as doctrines. You abandon the commandment of God and hold to human tradition. Are there places in our lives, in our churches, where we too cling too tightly to human tradition? Have you heard or maybe even said that that's the way we've always done it? Or perhaps the one that ties in closely with that, we've never done it that way before. Are we clinging to our routines or traditions because it's what we're comfortable with? Or are we looking at how God would have us live and act and gasp, even change, some of those routines and traditions. Maybe someone has a different way of doing something, a different idea on how something might work. And you know what? Maybe we need to be willing to let them try. Maybe we need to be willing to give up the control we so desperately want to have and see if God might just have something new in store for all of us. And I know it's not easy, so if you need to, start small. Tomorrow morning, put your right sock on first instead of your left. Or brush your teeth first and then brush your hair. Take baby steps if you need to. But I would encourage all of us to consider, to consider if those routines, those traditions that we are clinging to are for our good, or are they for God's? Before I leave you here, I 
just had to share this video with you. It honestly was what started and kind of sparked my thoughts on this. It came across my newsfeed and in its own way it just spoke to me and my desire to see things done the right way. So I invite you to watch this video. It's of a, a young boxer puppy. She's attempting to graduate from her obedience school and she simply has to sit and wait until her owner gives her the command to come and then sit down in front of her. So take a moment and let's have a look at how this goes. You know, I'm fairly certain from the laughter of those watching that that is not exactly how the instructor drew that one up. But then I also have to stop and wonder, didn't that puppy do as was expected? She waited, she crossed over to her owner, and then she did sit down in front of her. Sure, there was a little added burst of energy, an extra flair, a little extra excitement that maybe wasn't expected. Then again, couldn't we use a little burst of energy? Couldn't we use a little added excitement every now and again? Maybe it isn't our way, but who's to say it isn't God's way? Until next time, friends, I hope you'll join me in looking for those ways we just might break from our routine and in so doing, bring honor and glory to our Lord and Savior. Take care, stay safe, and God bless.